Now it's time for me to tell that story again. And with again, I mean this was originally the very first story video I ever posted. I deleted it after making Locked Up in University because it wasn't very good. But it's time to retail. It was my very first lesbian party. I was there with Patalia, if you remember her from my previous video, a random straight dude and this girl we are gonna call blah blah. The party we were at was at the worst club ever. Let me tell you why. Okay, firstly we couldn't find it at all. We searched the whole area. We heard the music but saw no club and as we were about to give up we went to the underground metro station and there it was! An underground coffee hidden near the metro station in which they just put the tables and chairs away and called it a club for tonight. Alright, we paid the entry fee, they gave us gummy bears for some reason, then we went in. And wow was the place small, I mean at least they got some disco lights going on but the music, it was terrible. I don't know about other countries, but Austria got some pretty crappy lesbian parties. How are you expecting me to get into the mood and make out with that cute blonde girl over there when freaking Bob is playing in the background? Yo, crazy! Compared to all the awesome club music the gay guys get, we got a 90s one-hit wonder YouTube playlist on repeat. Sure, let me grind that girl over there while the freaking Jackson's 5 or Britney Spears is playing in the background. And don't get me started when Katy Perry's song I Kiss the Girl starts. All lesbians just freak the shit out. They drop everything, the ground is shaking, the world is ending, near death experience right there. And they play that song at every lesbian party I've ever been at. Two. Well, this is what happens when a place has no DJs and maybe fit 30 people in it max and it just sucked overall. And later that evening, Blah Blah spotted someone she liked, but she was way too shy to speak to anyone, so I thought it's now my time to prove myself as a wing woman. Yeah, I saw too much how I met your mother, I know. I went up to the girl Blah Blah was interested in and my wonderful, fantastic social skills took over. And my opening icebreaker sentence was, hey, you got a girlfriend? I guess she thought I was making a move on her, but she answered politely back saying she's got no girl right now and we were actually starting a nice conversation to my surprise. But then her friends came. They overheard our conversation and one of them put their arm over her and said, I'm her girlfriend. She surprised me. By the speed of her walking up and putting her arm around that girl, she was like a jump scare, you know? Like that... Linda Blair face from that mace game. The other friends followed jump scare Chan and proceeded to dump me. For her. So I walked back in utter confusion. And later something happened at that party involving the police handcuffing a guy dragging him out of the club. So I wanted to know what happened and went outside where the group of the girl blah blah liked were coincidentally standing there. So I went over to ask what happened, and all they told me was, um, nope, still no chance, so you should give up, it's mm, just not happening, in this mocking voice. I was trying to explain to them that I wasn't actually hitting on her, but asking for a friend, but while I was saying that, I realized just how much of an excuse that sounded like, so I just left it at that. Hey, thanks for sticking with me through the whole video. A shout out to my fellow raptors from reddit, y'all know who you are. And don't smash the like button, gently click on it and stroke it, don't smash it, stop button abuse 2k17. And subscribe to support this channel, I will try my best to upload every other Thursday, so don't forget to click tab lick the bell to join the notification squad. That's it, okay, bye bye.